Hi guys, still on the quest for a good sounding pop pop boat. I completely failed to find any scrap tin cans walking along our local lanes where people throw them in the hedges and that. They were all aluminium, the ones that I found. Then I remembered I had thrown this out recently into my recycling bin. It's a tin of spray paint. And I've ensured it's empty by spraying it into that down there. That was just a little bit left in it. And then, holding it at arm's length in there, I hit it with my nail on a stick to make sure there was no pressure left in there at all. But this is a steel can. My magnet sticks to it. So I'm going to cut this up now. That nice curved base should make a nice chamber for the pop pop boat. And I should be able to use some of the rest of the bodywork here, or the can. Solder that onto it. And we should be able to make a nice little boiler. To get the bottom off, I'm grinding it off on this sandpaper. Just rubbing it. Done it on a few other videos with aluminium cans. This one will take a bit longer because it's tin or steel. You can see some of the yellow paint coming through around the edge there, so I'm clearly making progress. Yep, there we are. So that's our <laughs> painty container. I suppose we'd also class this as a teardown. What's inside a spray can? A couple of glass, uh, well, I was going to say ball bearings, but they're marbles, aren't they? Anyway, that's the bit that I want. I shall now cut down the sides of the can so we've got a flat piece to go over the base. A sharp knife or a pair of scissors would do this. I happen to have some proper tin snips. I've drawn a circle round it. We want it a little bit bigger than the bottom of here so that we can get a good solder seal all the way around the edge. So there we are. That's my metal lid. I'll solder onto there. And put a couple of pipes in it. I'm going to use this cheap plastic boat. Uh, probably came from Poundland originally. It did have a, a seating area in there that I've just cut out. In fact, I'd cut it out for a previous uh, conversion to put an electric motor in the middle. But I've just cut the rest of it out now. So we should be able to get the pop pop boat in there. A couple of holes in the bottom. So the pipes come out the back. So that's our that's our boat. So we need to solder this up and put some brass tubing on it. If you have a look at some of the other pop pop boat videos. Uh, have a look in my playlist. There's quite a few that are made without using any soldering whatsoever. Um, you can glue them together using uh, two-part epoxy glue. Or there's even one uh, by Dave Hacks where he does it all using blue tack. Or as I have white tack here. Just to demonstrate that you can, you don't need to use glue at all. That's quite a good one to watch, and I have done it myself. I've done my own version of his example. Cleaning the surface of the metal, just rubbing it with some sandpaper to get all that paint off it. It doesn't need to be completely clear of paint just the edges where it's going to be soldered. 
because the rest of it's going to burn off when it gets hot. But there'll be less smell, I suppose, if you clean some of the paint off. For the holes for the brass pipes to go in, I'm just pushing them through with my braddle. And then I'll open the holes up. Uh, what I usually use, I shouldn't, but I use edge of my needle nose pliers here. Just grind them around inside. There you are. Just worked on those holes until they're a nice tight fit on the brass tubing. Note I've also cleaned the paint off from around where the holes go through, so we should get a good solder joint. Broke my heart today. Actually had to go out and buy some solder. This is the stuff for doing metal, not electrical work. Cost me over £10 for this little bit. I've forgotten how much it cost. It's such a long time since I had to buy any. So we'll use that. And I'll just put some flux on all the important bits. I could have bought some modern flux while I was out too, but I don't want to spend any more money. I hate spending money. Right, that could be a problem. How do we hold that still? The solder should flow all the way around in one go. If we got it hot enough. Should have clamped it in place really. Let's see if we can get some just some little starter bits on there. And then work our way around. Looks like we've got a good seal. Hot glued in place. I've positioned it so we should be able to get the cover on. While I'm waiting for it to warm up, I've put the top back on the boat. I converted my tea light to three wicks. And we got instant performance improvement. Still practically silent. On the previous one I made, I mentioned it would be a good idea to make a proper little alcohol stove for it. So we can run it on something like methylated spirits. Because clearly they're struggling on just using a single tea light. Some people ask about the plastic boats that I keep using, or they did five years ago when I was doing them before. Five years ago, four years ago. And we're in water, it, they're going to stay fairly cool. Worst case scenario is yes, you could melt the hull, but um, 
generally speaking, they're not going to get hot enough. Having said that, that one just squirted out its last bit of steam, I think, and it stopped working, which means it will overheat unless I put some more water in there. Yeah, I've squirted a bit more water in there. It's taken a few seconds to heat up again. But not as long as it took to start from cold originally. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.